Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a favourites video which have always been like my favourite videos to film but I haven't actually filmed one in quite some time. I don't know why, I've just had different video ideas to do and I've been quite busy but I wanted to film one today. So this is my August feelings, favourites and fails where I talk about my feelings of the month. So has it been a good month etc. My favourites, so physical products and there's different categories for that and also a few fail products as well and like why I didn't like them and why I didn't get on with them. So that's what this video is going to be. So let's jump straight into it. Also, a good thing about this month, and every time August hits, it reminds me of when I first started my first channel. Now, if you've been a long-term subscriber, you may know that this is not my original channel. I started original channel, it was called GG Beauty, and I had about, I can't remember how many subscribers I got to, but probably about 700 or something like that. My ex-boyfriend did end up deleting that, but that's a different story, but anyway, the first video I ever posted to that channel was a baking video, but the second video that was posted was an August favourites, and I just remember filming that. I was probably like 14 or 15, and I just remember filming that, being like so excited to film it. I just really enjoyed filming it and everything, so every time I do an August favourites, it just reminds me of that because I'm pretty sure every year since then I've done one. I did make a new channel, this is my new channel, and here we are. We are getting closer to 5,000 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would really make a massive difference, so please do and join my little channel. Category number one is my feelings. By the way, I'm sorry if there's random pieces of hair everywhere. We need to wash this hair, but feelings. So this month has been okay. It's not been the best month ever, but it's not been the worst. It's been okay. I can feel myself like picking myself back up. I think I'm the kind of person that can get weighed down by things, but I'm also a very positive th person. So any kind of negative things in life, I always look for the positives because there is always a positive in something, somehow and in some way. And that's the kind of person that I am. And if you you can do that, and if you can drag the positives out of everything, then your life will be so much better. And that's what I always try and do. But this month, it's been okay, an average month. It's not been like amazing or anything, but I have done some nice things that have made it better. But I do feel like when I start uni, I will have more structure, more purpose to the day. I think this month I've just been very kind of sat at home, not doing anything, just you know, trying to fill the day with things by filming videos and by cleaning around the house. Although I say I've been sat at home, I haven't. I've been extremely busy, but extremely busy at home. And when you're stuck at home all the time, it's just kind of blah. But yeah, I have been really busy. I've struggled for doing anything else. However, I've been stuck at home. So it's hard to explain. I've been very busy with my website, I've been very busy with filming videos, it takes so long to film videos, I'm doing three a week at the minute and actually you will not understand how long it takes to film them, edit them, save them, upload them, do the description, do a thumbnail, it's a long process but you know it's worth it in the end. And I think another thing is that I have struggled with kind of money because my student loan was ages ago and I'm not getting it until October which is later than normal and yeah. I haven't had the money to do things that I would, you know, like to have done with, you know, often cancelling things with friends because I've not had the money, even though I have tried. My dad has often given me a little bit of money and my mum as well. So that's helped me, so thank you. But yeah, it's a bit of a struggle, but we will get there and it just means that you can manage money so much easier and I can kind of learn to budget and plan a little bit better. But my YouTube money is so much higher than it ever was at the start of the year. It's, I think, like... It's, it's literally 10 times higher per month than it was at the start of the year. So that is just amazing and I'm so glad about that. I have done things with my friends this month as well, which has been really nice and I enjoy doing stuff with my friends Emma and Steph. The first kind of thing that we did this month was it was Emma's birthday. She turned 20, finally. Like, Steph turns 21 in literally a month. Less than a month. No, over a month. I don't know what month I'm in, but Steph turns 21 in literally like a couple of months after Emma turned 20. 
But yeah, it was Emma's birthday and we went to hers. We had a Chinese takeaway and then we went out for some drinks. Not gonna lie, I did get a little bit ill the next day. I may or may not have thrown up the next day, which I've never done that before. I've thrown up on the actual night before where I drank so much that I, well, not so much, I'm a lightweight, let me just put it that way. But I've drank and I've thrown up on the night, but that time I woke up feeling really sick and I was sick, so fun times. But that was a really good night. And also we went to a kind of restaurant pub place called Harvester recently for the 50% off for Eat Out Help Out and that was really good as well. I had a nice burger. So yeah, I like spending time with them. That was like a really good part of this month. Sorry, if I keep looking up, it's because I'm just worried that my camera's not in focus, but I think it is, I'm pretty sure it is. Also, something of this month, which is only just within this month, is we've got Ellie coming over tomorrow. Ellie is a dog. I did film a video, a sort of vlog with her before, and yeah, she's so cute, and she's just the cutest. So you, you know, expect to see some videos with her coming very shortly, and some vlogs, but yeah, she is the cutest, and I'm so excited for her to come over tomorrow. So that's gonna be really good, I can tell already. Overall, this month has been pretty decent. It's not been like amazing, but it's been okay. And I'm just thinking that next month is gonna be better. And also the next month after that, when I go back to uni will also be better as well. I am gonna make a life update video very soon because I think a few things have changed that maybe I should probably update you on and that will come soon as well. So now for the favourites side of this video, so the physical products, we are going to start off with skincare, just kind of go in some kind of chronological order. So the first thing is facial cupping. Now I did do an entire video on that, I will link it in the description if you want to go and watch it. It was in collaboration with the brand, however this video isn't. I do really like it. It does make a massive difference to how soft my skin is and to me soft glowy skin is just what I aim for when it comes to my skincare routine but Vogue now did send me these and basically you get a rosehip oil so a little bit of a bottle of rosehip oil I really like putting oils onto my face to soften the skin and then I also have this little kind of guy just to smooth out your skin and then the actual cups are in here and you just kind of suck on your face and then just kind of pull it upwards. And I like to do this like four or five times a week. I really enjoy doing this. It just makes your skin really plump. And that's what I like is how plump it makes my skin and soft and it's just, it makes a massive difference. It increases blood flow in your skin. And I think that's something to really look into. Although skincare products are amazing, it's also good to consider kind of facial massaging and facial cupping as well. So I really like doing that this month. Next up, we've got something that is clearly a favorite. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but you know, who cares? This is my Fresh Faced Lemon Scented Cleansing Balm by Georgie Carr, who happens to be me. If you follow my channel, you should already know that. I'm hoping you know my name, because that's what my channel is called. But this is my cleansing balm. This is what it looks like. And yeah, it is lemon scented. I did release it fairly recently, over a month ago, I think. I should have no idea. Yeah, I have actually sold quite a lot of these and I was so pleased with how many people have bought these. I did recently do a discount on these. I don't do discounts that often, I'm not gonna lie. So if you want any discounts on any products, then go to my Facebook page and also my Instagram because I do um, discounts on there for certain products and codes and things like that but not very often so you have to be like looking out but yeah i love this i love balms in general but i just wanted to feature this in this video because i'm just so happy that i've got a product that i really love myself but i am really happy with how it works on the skin and everything like that and it just melts away your makeup so if you are interested in getting one of these my website is linked in the description we now have a cheeky little cleansing cleansing balm i've just mentioned my cleansing balm cleanser i meant to say this is from the body shop it's the drops of light pure clarifying foam wash a foam wash oh my god i did not know that i've only just read that how is this a foam wash it's not a foam as in like foam like you know when you pump out a foam uh, you know what i'm on about but yeah this is actually really really nice when you put this onto the hand you just put a little bit a little bit goes a long way trust me it kind of looks like a moisturizer when you immediately put it onto the skin you then put it and massage it into sort of damp wet skin and it literally foams well i suppose that's why it's a foam wash actually that does make sense but it does it lathers up really 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 quickly and just gets rid of any excess product that may be on your face i always double cleanse i always use my cleansing balm and then use this 
always 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 because it's just so important to double cleanse just so that you've got that kind of makeup removal stage and then the actual cleansing process happens so yeah i really like how much this foams up and how little of a product that you actually need so yeah would recommend this 100 and it is targeted at people with red skin i do have a little bit of red skin occasionally but i'm not sure how well that helps or not because I haven't been using it long enough for me to tell sort of a difference or anything like that. Then we have this. This is the Body Shop British Rose Toner. It's the Petal Soft Rose Toner. You can see that there's little tiny kind of petals in there. Not gonna lie, the petal side of things and the, you know, actual kind of flower in there is quite annoying. It gets on your face and it's just not my cup of tea if I'm completely honest. But when it comes to the toner itself, it's more of a thicker consistency rather than a thinner consistency. Most toners are a little bit thinner and more watery, whereas this one is like a gel, which I really like. It's an extremely kind of plumping toner. It does plump the skin 100% and that's what I like about this. It makes my skin really nice and plump. So yeah, I love that and I think I do prefer this to most toners because it does have that plumping element to it rather than kind of more of a drying element that a lot of toners do have. Finally, for skincare, this is the largest category, by the way, because I'm obsessed with skincare. Um, but this is the Body Shop as well. I've got a lot of Body Shop products. You will probably be sick and tired of the Body Shop on this channel, but... Here we are. This is the Vitamin C Glow Protect Lotion. This is what I'm using for SPF. I use it as the last step in my skincare routine for the morning. Actually, I do put on a little glow spray after I've used this, but basically, SPF is so important all through the year to wear underneath your makeup or if you've got SPF in your foundation or something like that because the sun is always out. It may not be shining bright and it may not be sunburning you, but it's still out and you still need to protect your skin and particularly your face. So yeah, this is a really good one. It goes on really smoothly. It just glides onto the skin, which I really like. It's also really glowy and that's the whole sort of range of these products is that it's, you know, a glowy product and I really love this and I will 100% buy this again in the future and I just wanted to mention it in this video because one of my favorite skincare products, if not my favorite. So that's it for skincare. Now we're gonna do makeup, just a couple of pieces in the makeup category today. So the first one is this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. I have probably included this in previous favorites videos, but I've rediscovered it. I've been using the Body Shop foundation can't remember what it's called um but i've been using the body shop foundation for a while now and i've not been enjoying doing my makeup i've actually been hating my makeup when it's done it's been so 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 ridiculously dewy i am going to do a video on my channel comparing half of my face with this foundation and half my face with the body body shop foundation with a wear test to show how they wear differently and how they both look so different. It's only five pounds something from Boot and I just could not recommend this enough, honestly. It's such an amazing foundation, great coverage. It's more of kind of like a matte sort of finish rather than a dewy finish, which I'm very much here for. And it lasts all day. And honestly, I could not recommend this enough. It's my favorite foundation ever. This is probably my fourth bottle of this. I'm never gonna stray away from it again um, because I strayed away from it to the Body Shop one and did not like it so not very good and then finally for makeup we've got this so this is a little duo this is from Lidl oh I've got that upside down and if you see this kind of packaging in Lidl this is what it is it's a mascara and an eyeliner and I really wanted to mention this because the eyeliner pen is um, one of those eyeliners that's like a crayon, but the pigmentation of this eyeliner is literally crazy. Like I have a lot of eyeliners where you have to really like scrape it on. It's almost like an actual pencil, but this is so pigmented and it goes on so nicely. It lasts really well. And I've just been kind of putting it above my like lash line just to emphasize my lashes a little bit more. And I really, really like this. It's just so pigmented and yeah, definitely worth the two pounds something that I paid for both of these together. The mascara, itself is really nice voluminous and it's just a really decent mascara it competes with all kind of drugstore mascaras it's no worse than them and i really like it so this is a great duo to get and if you go to lidl check it out because honestly i would highly recommend for a little cheeky bargain sometimes you don't need to pay loads of money for good products and that is a good kind of symbol of that also, another sort of makeup favourite is doing my eyebrows differently. So basically what I've been doing is 
kind of shave my eyebrows like half off right which is completely fine you can do what you like and then just drawing them on a little bit kind of higher up so I shave like this part usually my eyebrows would come down here a little bit and it just means that there's like less room for eyeshadow so now that my brows are a little bit more kind of lifted it makes your face Dean's eating and it's making the camera shake <laughs> it makes your face a little bit more lifted and it also means i've got so much more room for eyeshadow and i just really like that so yeah if the camera is shaking it's my hamster yeah it is shaking it's my hamster eating probably a nut or something and it's making the camera shake dean stop eating rude food favorites so i'm just gonna whiz through these because i can't actually show you them cheese leek and ham packet pasta from lidl loving that lidl ice cream so i recently have been getting like ben and jerry's ice cream from lidl and it's nice and everything it's cheaper than any other place it's literally two pounds something and sometimes i see ben and jerry's is like five pounds something somewhere else so definitely worth going to lidl guys same product different price silly really if you're gonna buy it from somewhere else but the little version of the ben and jerry's ice cream so like cookie dough everything like that tastes the exact same i would highly recommend and it's literally just over a pound so i've been loving that and finally protein porridge i call it protein porridge because it just it just sounds cool doesn't it i just put oats milk cinnamon some frozen berries whack it in the microwave bring it out add a little bit of peanut butter and a little bit of sugar and it tastes so good so that's what i look forward to in the mornings my hamster has just got out of his cage i will show you there he is he's just traveling down his cage probably gonna get some food although i have just heard that he has been eating hello Dini. have you come in to say hello He's coming to say hello. By the way, if you think that he's not walking very fast, it's because A, he's old and B, he's tired. Sorry if the camera has shifted a little, so that is my food favorites. Now homeware, I've got one thing and it's this bowl here. Honestly, I love these. These are from Wilco's. My mum bought me these. She bought herself some and I literally loved them and I was gonna buy some, but obviously I'm not, you know, completely rich at the minute. So I thought I'll buy them when I get my student money, but my mum did actually treat me and buy me four of these. I just love them. I love the shape of the bowls and how big they are and the design as well. I don't know why, I just like them and they're definitely one of the best things in this favourites video. Probably the thing I'm most excited for right now which is so weird. I just get excited to eat my porridge in it, my meals in it, like pasta, and also some ice cream in it in the evening. So yeah, it's just one of those things that I just get excited to use. So just, you know. Please excuse me on that. YouTuber favourites, I'm gonna run through these and I will link their channels below in the description for you to check out if you would like to watch people. First of all, Emma's Rectangle. I love her channel. She's growing a lot quicker than she has before. I think she's had her channel for about seven or eight years and she's only really just started kind of properly growing. She does fitness related videos, makeup related videos, but it's mainly more like lifestyle kind of vloggy videos. She does weekly vlogs and I really am obsessed with watching weekly vlogs. I enjoy watching people going about their everyday lives more than I do any other video. So I really love her channel. I think Dean is just weeing, so if you can hear scratching and stuff, that's just him doing his little thing. But I also really enjoy Jamie Genevieve. She is Scottish and I'm sure you know who she is, but she makes loads and loads of makeup videos. She is really good at makeup. Obviously that's how she became famous. Um, but she is like amazing at makeup. She also does weekly vlogs as well. And I really enjoy watching her weekly vlogs the most. And yeah, her channel I really become obsessed with. Dean is just drinking, bear with him. So that's YouTuber favorites. Then kind of watching programs, sort of Netflix-y kind of shows um the first one is friends i've been watching a lot of friends on netflix recently it's just one of those things where you can just keep watching it like no matter how many times you watch an episode you can just keep watching it it's just one of those things that you can always come back to i'm gonna watch some later whilst i eat my sort of evening meal and then also i have been watching shameless jamie introduced me to shameless if you know, already know what that is but it's quite old in fact it's very old but it's one of those things that i've never watched until now so if you want to go and watch it it's all on netflix and then finally i think it's called fool us but it's Penn and teller some magicians like really amazing magicians and basically it's like a magic thing i'm trying to explain it but basically people come on the show and they do a magic trick trying to fool Penn and teller the magicians 
into not knowing how they did the trick and nine times out of ten they will know how the trick is done because obviously they they know where, like most tricks but sometimes they don't and i just really enjoy watching that so that's what i've been watching this month yeah that is all of my favorites i'm sorry if i've been rambling on what is this bit of hair oh my god like please leave me um, and then next up we have fails so now for the fails section of this video bear with me i just need to go and get them hello little munchkin hi do you think i'm gonna give you food did i wake you up from talking i do apologize say bye 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 hi i'm back and my battery is running out fun times so fails first thing that's that kind of negative of this month which isn't really a fail but it's the fact that Tati still hasn't posted on her youtube channel and honestly she was my favorite youtuber like in the entire world i watched her videos every single one of them i even went and re-watched all of her videos from last year that i've already watched before bear in mind just because i like you know watching her videos but she's not posted like she literally posted like five or six videos this year and it's it's, it's not making me happy, I'm not gonna lie, but obviously she's got her own reasons. I'm not having a go, but I'm just saying it's very sad. Um, but next up in terms of physical products, we have this. So this is the Cosmetics Something in a Different Language Highlighter Palette, and it's the Dream Glow Kit Palette. Now, the reason why this is a fail is because it came and arrived smashed. So it wasn't that expensive because that's why I bought it because I like cheap products. But the actual highlighters themselves are really good. They really work well and really nice and glowy, highly pigmented, really like the formula. However, the packaging is really extremely low quality. So that's kind of where they're kind of saving on money there. And this eyeshadow here arrived smashed. It's also kind of more like a yellowy color. So it doesn't really suit my skin tone, but I use all of these still and I do like it but I think it's a fail because the packaging is really cheap and also because it came a little bit smashed but I have been enjoying and still using it daily but just wanted to mention it in there and then my final fail is this body shop foundation it's the fresh nude foundation in the shade coyote blossom number 15 I do say that I dislike this foundation for my personal skin tone I did kind of like it to start with I did a kind of wear test video I will link it in the description if you want to go and check that out and see my kind of initial thoughts on the foundation it does sort of sink into the skin really nice and like blend in it doesn't look like you've got foundation on your skin it is more of a kind of lighter coverage than anything else I would say it is light coverage it doesn't offer any coverage it doesn't offer a full coverage at all or even a medium coverage it is definitely light but yeah i do think that it does look nice on the skin but for me it's just way too dewy like honestly it's ridiculously dewy my skin is a global maybe look back on my old sort of some of my previous videos and my skin is too too glowy and yeah i just haven't liked it so i'm so glad that i've got my wet and wild foundation i haven't even finished this so if you're a friend of mine and you're watching it and you would like to try this let me know if you want to try this because I do not like this. I really do not like this. So yeah, I'm just going to put that out there. It's definitely not for my skin type. It's extremely glowy. No, no amount of powder sorts this guy out. So just thought I'd throw that in there. And that is it for the video. My battery is running low. Dean has given us a visit. He's drank water. He's eaten. He's probably pooed and he's most certainly said hello and goodbye to the camera. So a lot has happened in this video, but that is my feelings, my favourites and my fails of this month. I'm going to do one or try to do one every single month just because I've always got loads to talk about. I've always got favourites and everything like that. Stay tuned for some more body shop videos coming, vlogs with Ellie, the dog, and also, and just, you know, more lifestyle videos on this channel. So please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>